cut that out. Wait, how <laughs> you long? just started recording. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, imagine Gabby, that's why'd you have to ruin it? Well, I don't want him talking shit on like, his friends. I can cut that out at the beginning. <laughs> I've done it in the past. Yeah. Or I've just like not had yeah. that bit in. We warm yeah. up every episode by talking a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> just like, just about, very, not even about people we know. <laughs> just, uh. Yeah. yeah. Wait, do, wait. Let's let's think of a rumor about someone we actually like that, but we, that we want to discredit them. <laughs> Orlando Bloom mm. is a, a arsonist. Mm, I like that. That's okay. I'm I'm just thinking of his Pirates of the Caribbean character. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. What's that guy's name? Uh, Will Turner. Will, Will Turner. Turner yeah. yeah. He's like, uh, I don't know. He's got the heart for real or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, move the so mic. Bring with, the mic a little bit closer I guess to you. We, I guess we're recording. Hello, yeah. everybody. What up? How's this it going? is Benny Feldman. Oh, we're, we're skipping the whole intro. Yeah, we're not yeah, introducing. Yeah. All right. Welcome to whatever this is. Yeah. Well, yeah. this is welcome to the Selling Sunset Tribute Hour. Oh, and, so good. Uh, Are you uh, a Selling former, Sunset fan? I'm not. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a. It's You're probably healthier for it. Yeah. So yeah, it's a it's a reality <laughs> show about real estate agents on Netflix. Yeah. And um. Mm-hmm. It's a study in uh, how and how well you can tell when someone gets lip fillers uh, oh. <laughs> because it happens, but they never tell you when. <laughs> yeah, you just notice it yeah. when their lips are just bursting out of their face. It you... happens like in the show, like it's like it, like. Well, you don't like see it on camera. You don't like they the don't, lip like, filler is it. the protagonist, and everyone else is a supporting <laughs> not actor. You're making him think the wrong thing. About I'm so the show. No, I'm sorry. Really no, like it's band. it's not. No, it's um, it's about these realistic. Uh, so. <laughs> It's like a female empowerment show about these real estate agents who, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. honestly tear each other down at every turn. So there are these two dudes called Jason and Brett Oppenheim. They look like uh, tiny, jacked Jewish Voldemorts. Oh, and, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and they run a real estate brokerage with these very statuesque, model-looking uh, female real estate agents. And it, a lot of the show is about their drama, their yeah. sort of interpersonal oh. workplace drama. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you a big real reality TV guy? Uh, no, not really. Not what really. what what is your what is it, your favorite media to consume just to entertain yourself? What hmm. what is Benny Feldman like? By the way, give a round of so <laughs> we are two nosy meerkats. Rich. Give a round of applause, a proper round of bleh, round of applause for a hilarious comedian who we've gotten to know over the past year or so. Are people clapping at their homes? Oh yes, yes, yes. they are, <laughs> <laughs> dude. They're they're driving trucks right now and they are losing control <laughs> of the like, wheel <laughs> because they're applauding they're right semi. now. A round of applause for Benny Feldman. <laughs> <laughs> Good to be here, folks. Two nose yeah. meerkats has caused more car crashes in the past year than alcoholism. At least I hope so. Like, in their cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what, what, what does Benny like to consume uh, in terms of entertainment? I love YouTube. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, what, what's... Oh, I've got like twenty YouTube tabs open. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Just different videos that I'm halfway in. What um, sort? Of, what sort of stuff do you watch? I like. Oh, a mix of like video essays about like. Uh, mm. Oh, my favorite channel, like recently, has been PBS Eons. It's all about. Like, yes. You watch that shit. I love PBS Eons. It's so good. Have you so seen good. the video? Why does everything keep evolving into, into crabs? crabs? Yeah, carcinization, <laughs> carcinization or whatever. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or cancer, whatever. That root word of that Greek one. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I love that. It's. You like, need to explain this to me. Okay, so Talk about it. a bunch of animals keep turning into like through natural selection. The crab body shape keeps evolving like different. Uh, so a bunch of different branches of the evolutionary Crustaceans. tree. Let's say crusta- have- a bunch of different kinds of crust. No, please. Are you yeah, saying it's like absolutely. a slur? <laughs> Just say crabs. And then the proper word is crustaceans. They keep fucking evolving into these crabs, you know? The- <laughs> oh, for sure. Like there's true, there's true crustaceans or whatever, which are like yeah. crab crabs. But there's a bunch of other shit that's imitation crab. Exactly uh. the same looking as a crab. But yeah. Not- and that's actually the same for trees. Yes, tree, uh, you're only, absolutely right. So, like, a uh, one tree is probably more closely related to like uh, grass near you, and then another tree is more related to like the dandelion. Because mm. like trees are not like it's not like the branch that's trees; it's like plants, and then some plants become yeah, tre- yeah, like yeah. bark evolves all the time. Anyway, yeah. another similar <laughs> one is fish. Like when we think of like a fish that has like you know like the face at one end and then a tail fin at the other, mm. as like what we would think. Oh yeah, no, that's a fish. They're so different. Like a hagfish 
is a, like a hagfish. You know, if you know, you know about hagfish. It's like it's they're slimy. Like that felt, it just felt pointed. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 talk about hagfish. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's got the fi- you know how like catfish have the whiskers. The hagfish yeah. is the face of my ex-wife. <laughs> 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 I don't know. That's <laughs> They don't let me watch the big game. (laughs) (laughs) When the girl falls in love with her gay best friend, that's the fag hag fish. (laughs) Are you uh, your words, not mine? Uh, You're allowed to say that. Is that (laughs) the situation? (laughs) Um, me. I mean, I I don't know if I can say the one word, but I can say the full term fag hag because I am one. So I see. Okay. Yes. Mm, Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. I, I I consider myself something of a hag. I mean, here mm. I am hosting this podcast with yes. a gay man, and <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people out there that think I am. Yeah, mm. April, April Clark came on the podcast. All and, of your at, suitors, what? All your students. <laughs> <laughs> all my suitors, yeah. <laughs> I thought you said all his students. Like, oh, students at the university recruiting. <laughs> I don't have a, don't TikTok, have a teacher's TikTok license, TikTok and you. yet that doesn't stop me. Love them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, I remember April, April came on and was like April, April Clark uh, we, we made some reference to how like people think I'm gay And how I'm not and April was like whoa It was like it was the funniest <laughs> thing is that She's like she's hilarious and she riffs Shout a lot But that April. was one of the only serious moments for her Where she was like I gen- I thought you were gay It was the most earnest <laughs> thing it was, it was very she said, she, you could tell that she was dead serious Yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's funny yeah she's great she, I, uh, I was gonna have her on mine and then she immediately moved to LA Oh, oh no Wait she moved? Yeah she just moved recently Oh dang! I didn't know that she moved to LA. Uh, I, I don't know if that's true. Maybe she's <laughs> maybe she's there for like a while. I think, oh, okay, oh, she's okay, touring. Okay. She's touring with Girl Guy. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe, that I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to happening. Girl Guy. Go see it if you can. I just saw hell it. Yeah. It's an awesome show. Yeah, hell nice. yeah. Yeah, a lot of fun. Okay, nice. so hagfish. So what do they do? Who are they? Wait. Okay. Yeah. I don't know about the hagfish, but I want to. S- fun fact about the blobfish. Oh yes. Need you know the it. blobfish. Need I think I know this fact, but to tell it. Okay, so it doesn't look like that. Yes. Yeah. So it's a water normal, pressure. It's yeah. a yeah. It's a normal fish that like is just like a really deep ocean fish. But when they pull it out from that deep, its body is so built to like withstand the deep ocean pressure that its skin just like, like uh like blobs out when you bring it to normal. When you bring it to normal pressure, it's like skin like yeah. bloats and gets all fucked up and melts basically. Yeah. It melts? Yeah, that's why. Well, that's have, you ever seen a, like have you ever seen a blobfish? How they just are, they yeah. look. Yeah. yeah. Then in in the actual water environment, it looks like a fish. Yeah, they look great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're stunning. So skinny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Snatched. Yeah, yeah. Totally snatched. <laughs> yeah. No, but a hagfish is like um it's like it's one of those things that like uh they they feast on like a decaying whale at the bottom of the ocean. But if you, but one of their that. defense, what, well, sorry? A buddy of mine did that. <laughs> <laughs> feasted on a whale. Your buddy feasted on a whale? Tell me about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, He's so quirky. <laughs> you guys know Pinocchio? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The guy was starving in there. He had to eat the whale from the inside. <laughs> oh, that's just... a bummer. That's too bad. <laughs> she yeah. ate out a whale? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you, was it like a Bible guy in a whale? Jonah. Jonah. So wait, the Pinocchio based on Jonah? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They Oh, it's actually all no. di- all, Dis- <laughs> all Disney movies are based on the Bible. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine that like for especially yeah. back then, yeah. Yeah, Shrek is based on Lazarus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I think Pinocchio was maybe lying about being uh clawing his way out of the whale cuz I don't think he's and a very that's why trustworthy his nose guy. Got like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how did he get out? He uh the he, hard he, way. He, he, he tickled away. <laughs> <Get> shout out. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. whale just kind of let him uh, the whale was like i'm done with you yeah. i'm bored yeah pinocchio was like i do not consent and the whale was like i apologize was, yeah. he, was he a boy at that point because if he was wood he could just like float yeah true <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, well to be know. fair people also float true do except we? when they're dead true oh and they sink really I thought i've, I've learned that uh, 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 <laughs> great personal cause um <laughs> Well, yeah, well, it's a thing. Well, did you ever guys ever see like Keeping Mum? It was a movie with Maggie Smith where she's like a serial killer who gets in touch with like her long lost family and they just dump a ton of bodies into like a nearby lake. Oh, no. And one of the final shots is like you zoom in on like you like go underwater. You see all these bodies that she's like murdered. And it's just like that's the final joke of the movie is because they're about to like uh, like. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's like I assume it's like a joke in it's, context. Oh, it's a, it's context, a, whole, it's it's a dark comedy. It's yeah, really Did funny. a buddy of yours do that too? <laughs> yeah. What's that? Did a buddy of yours do that too? Yes, no, a buddy of his uh, it evolved into a into a crab. <laughs> oh, sorry, a crustacean. <laughs> a crustacean. It's actually, um, it that the yeah, similar that's process their word. They can't. <laughs> we can't say crab. We can only say crustacean. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, the evolution of my buddies is uh, similar where a lot of different people, you know, but my, I keep forming buddies, but the process is always different. <laughs> 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 a lot of different pals. <laughs> Wow! Uh, <laughs> yeah, there. I like. I like that. The evolution of the buddy. Mm, it starts mm. with humanoid, then it's human, and then the human eventually transforms into the buddy. Mm. Yeah. Over time. Yeah. yeah. The final form. We're just the Charmeleons, and we hope to get to the Charizard level of being a buddy. Yes. yes. Yeah, and then um, what's uh like if you have sex with your friend that's uh like when Charizard does that mega like that with yes, that gigantic, mega evolution. gigantic yeah, yeah, yeah. Charizard. That's when you hook up with a friend. <laughs> <laughs> when you hook up with a friend, you can't call them a buddy anymore. Have you ever? Because it's temporary. It's only for that battle. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had just a casual hookup with a friend and then you just remain friends? No. I've never uh, done that. No. <laughs> yeah, same. I don't think so. Okay. I'm trying. I mean, um. Oh yeah. Okay. I had to think about it for a little bit. Okay. Okay. I think, okay. Um, but like. It's never been like, all right, and now things are the same. It's right. always been like, it's made it awkward or it's like uh, yeah. one person wants to be something or it, either, exactly. me, either me or them and then it doesn't, you know. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I've had friendships become stronger because of a crush and then it not work out and then just like oh. stay really good friends. You know, some of my closest friends are people who were former crushes. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. That's, that's very that, name names. Name scary. names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Rapunzel. Yeah. <laughs> you know, based her? on the one. I, love, uh, yeah. I was trying to think of a woman from the Bible, but all I could think of was Mary. I don't know anyone else. There's a what? There's one called Rachel in the Bible. There's a Rachel in the Bible, isn't there? It's a, <laughs> Rapunzel's in the Bible. Is <laughs> Rapunzel. Did I say it's, Rapunzel? No, no, no. She did. Oh yeah. Okay. The story of Rapunzel. I like that as an idea. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I said any friend hookup. You know, we said name names. I was like Rapunzel. Hmm. She yeah. got a she got a one bedroom apartment in the woods. I know. <laughs> I mean, she's low. You know, she's selling. Imagine that her going she's selling, selling that hair. She's selling yeah. it. No way. That hair, she got to be. She's oh yeah, yeah she, I mean, I would she, hope she she's work, donating. Work from home. All she does is grow her hair as fast as she can. <laughs> she's taking fucking. <laughs> what's that vitamin called that makes your biotin? hair grow? Biotin. Bio yeah, she's oh taking, yeah. <laughs> she's like shooting up biotin to make it go as fast as possible. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Biotin speedball. Yeah. Yeah. It's all a lie, that whole thing. Oh, I'm trapped in my parents' place. No, they're profiting. I just had a thought. Let's smoke you know how, some biotin. You know, <laughs> you know how she does it? Okay. She like she's trapped there. I guess she has a shower, but I'm like the thought is like if she doesn't have like utilities or something, then she's like her hair's matted. And turns into just like long, oh, like yep. white people dreadlocks. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rapunzel with dreadlocks is so funny to me. It's that is, classic. that's a great idea. <laughs> you see, like smoke billowing out of the tower. <laughs> Wait, what's the smoke from? She's smoking weed. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's like, Rasta. That, yeah, uh, for, yeah, Rasta dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah. I thought you um, meant from like friction of like her hair Rasta. rubbing against something. No, I, but I like that because too. it's become so dense. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a Stregonona's type situation. Oh my God. Like, you guys know Stregonona? Of course. Yeah, I don't She's know what that friend. is. You know Stregonona? Um, a grandma. It, it was in, it's like a children's story, um, some weird fable where this like little old lady's cooking pasta. Okay. And it's like a magic bowl of pasta. And she says a spell to make it like automatically fill with pasta. And so she has her apprentice do it. But he's like, I think I remember this. Was there a yeah. book? Yeah, there's a book. It's a book. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think I remember this. And the, the, the they guy, made so many different things out of the pasta. Yeah. Did they do that? I forget. Did they? they probably yeah. did. I, I may I, be I, thinking of something different. I'm the, basically, basically what happens is... You're thinking is, of uh, Top Chef. <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking of uh, Kids, Iron Chef or whatever. Sorry, Iron Chef Iron, Kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Aluminum Iron Chef. Iron Kids. Yeah. They, um, what the fuck happens? The guy, basically the guy forgets the, the spell. I, I think the magic word is like, thank you. When you're done with it, yeah. so it's like yeah. he forgets to say thank you to the pot, and oh. so it keeps bubbling over and like fills the whole. Th oh, you're supposed to blow kisses to it, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't remember it very well. I just remember Stregonona, and now people on Twitter are like going on a rant about how Stregonona is actually kind of a bitch. Oh, huh. <laughs> they're canceling her. Oh, well, you know, cancel culture has gone too far. For sure, we're yeah. canceling Stregonona. <laughs> they pick up. I, I feel like they're also I can like making her iconic. You know what I mean? People pick somebody. A classic kids thing will be like, yeah, mm, they'll be like, she's a gay icon. Exactly. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. she, they of the week, Stregonona. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
<laughs> the very, I've seen in like every children's book, like the very hungry caterpillar, he they of the week. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> The caterpiller yeah. is has he they vibes. I see it. Yeah. Wait, because we mentioned Jamaica <laughs> earlier. I got to tell you guys something funny that oh, happened. Oh, please, please. I was at a deli yesterday getting a sandwich, and it was me standing there and, like, uh, a guy next, a black guy next to me, like, mind his own business. And then a white guy walks in and buys Red Stripe. You know the Red Stripe beer? It's, like, Jamaican oh, sure. beer. <laughs> the white guy, like, walks with his little, like, Red Stripe, and to nobody in particular quietly whispers Jamaica <laughs> <laughs> me and the guy are like what the fuck? <laughs> that's adorable I oh, couldn't man. tell if he was pumping himself up or trying in some way to like acknowledge the black guy which would be so much worse <laughs> it was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in my entire life that oh, rules. Yes. Yeah. That reminds me of a, a story Bobby Lee once told on his podcast where he was on a plane next to like a very old white dude and he could tell that the guy was trying to connect with him. So he just says, uh, my daughter loves Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and he was actually, and he, Bobby Lee was actually touched because he was like, he's trying. He's trying to he connect with me. <laughs> Hello Kitty, she, they of the week. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, I uh, uh, what's that? Uh, the concept of she, uh, part of why she was so popular or whatever is like oh, she, yeah. doesn't, she doesn't have a mouth. There's like a big element, and it's like the oh, so she the, can't talk. The docile, woman. the docile yes. fan. Oh, it's like an idea. Yeah. Wow, oh, that is so, so interesting. Up. Yeah. Wait, does Hello Kitty ever have like a catchphrase or no? Or never? She just never talks. I think so. It's um. What's <laughs> that? <laughs> 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 She's in the Burger King commercial, yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Her catchphrase is, welcome the good burger, home of the good burger. She's always saying that. It's yeah. really, it's sensational. I used to have a Hello Kitty backpack keychain that I would wear. Really? In college, yeah. Did sure. it do anything or was it, it was just a Hello Kitty just thing? Hello just Hello Kitty. Yeah. 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 Well, I have, I have a little Yoda keychain on my backpack, but it's also a flashlight. Oh, that's it. A flashlight? That's it. It's also a, a flashlight. Fla I flashlight. fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I like that uh, Hello Kitty one with like a drawstring, but you pull it and it just stays silent. <laughs> it's just like, because <laughs> it doesn't have a mouth, so it's just like, zzz, oh my god. As she should. <laughs> <laughs> what would she have to say? <laughs> did you ever have any crazy backpacks? Did you ever have like the Rolly backpack? No, oh. but I did. Um, I did like draw all over mine. I had a. Um, I was de definitely. I've gone through phases in my life. Oh yeah. I haven't okay. always looked like this. Do you know what I mean? Whoa. Cool <laughs> stuff. Yeah. I definitely. Yep. I was a lot. Um. In the era when I had the the Hello Kitty on my backpack, how old were you at that? It's a lot point? nerdier. That was um, uh, from like early college, end of high school, or like the two okay, 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 okay. parts of it. Yeah, shit, fucking, because uh, it was from an ex. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, I also, okay. but I also liked the vibe. But like I, I was like a lot nerdier then. I was a lot okay. more like, um, not that I'm not nerdy now, it, but it's like subtle. I'm You've high, developed high other character bit. traits. Yeah, I think I. Uh, then I like leaned into it. Like I like dressed like a nerd. Like I was like all about video games. Wait, how did you dress? What was what were I the had, items? I had clear frame glasses, but okay. like um, before that became more like I feel like that vibe has changed when you see clear frame glasses. They're more like um, uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, try to like what like coffee? Sh somebody who writes at like a coffee shop is like yeah. the vibe of those now. Mm, um, okay, okay, okay. But when I had them, they it was. The vibe of like gamer nerd, like that's yeah. what that's how they uh, looked yeah. on my face. You know I, I mean? see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I got you. <laughs> yeah. What what phases have you guys gone through? Ooh, goth. I goth? think uh, honestly, I've always looked mostly the same, except there was one day in middle school where I decided to wear. Do you remember the face with like the the long sleeve shirt? over the band and the band t-shirt over yeah, it absolutely. yes yeah, absolutely. yeah 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 yeah. the first time i put that on i was like i am the coolest chick who's ever lived <laughs> you I know what's funny so cool. john hedrick was wearing that exact thing yesterday of course he was Hell yeah <laughs> well he's got good he's got a good like he's got a good style. he's got a good yeah. uh laid back fashion sense about him definitely yeah Shout i will say i didn't i've never had any like wild changes in my fashion i think i've gotten better over time but i <laughs> i remember through like uh elementary school i just wore sweatpants every day hell yeah That's sweatpants comfy. yeah That's oh it was so time. comfy yeah yeah in high school i almost every day i wore a hoodie almost every day nice. i wore a hoodie mm. m&m vibes oh can i tell you i i wore so often i wore um 
uh, high school theater show merch. Just oh. the t-shirts. I wore those so often. Like, I can't. I have rehearsal. No, no. It, <laughs> not like you general. You a bumper sticker of that? Oh, <laughs> my God. I think I had a button, like a little button that I could put on, like a oh. little pin button. Oh, no, but okay. I meant like it was like Joseph in the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat or yeah. Kiss Me Kate or those. It was like it was of, of a specific show that I had done that I... I just needed a shirt. It wasn't even me thinking like, oh, I want to wear this shirt. It was just like, oh, these are of my shirts and yeah. I can wear one of these today. Yeah. Yeah. And For then sure. I realized over time I was like, this is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like you and I probably had a similar thought where we kind of pared down. Yes. We're like, let's kind of uh, simplify basics. the elements in play here. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Just kind of be another dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <You> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get on your dude vibes. Did you do high school theater? Um, any no, kind of performing I did, arts. I did middle school theater. Oh, really? For sure. Do and you have like, any memorable you... roles that you were? When I in fifth grade, that's uh, it's elementary school. I played model the tailor tailor in uh, Fiddler on the Roof. Oh but, hell yes! Uh, they, they cut the song though. I didn't do the song. They I wish cut I had done the song. it. Well, yeah, it wasn't like. I guess I don't know if I wasn't a good enough singer or what, but they didn't have the song. Yeah. That's shameful. That's a yeah. bummer. You know, when I played the cow in Into the Woods, they kept the cow song, too. Into the Woods? Yeah, there's no cow song. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they told you? They were like, we had to, oh, that's even worse that they that there wasn't a cow song, but they still told you that they cut it out? Yeah, imagine they're like, oh, you had you had a couple numbers, actually. You were gonna but do you a cow don't dance, deserve those numbers. Not for, not for you, yeah. Is that oh. the one where the guy goes to Alaska? No, that's um the, the oh that's into the wild into the wild yeah in middle school we were doing into the wild I'm like what are you talking about <laughs> that would actually be kind of sick I remember we did some that, crazy yeah. plays at camp like we did like Equus at my summer camp when I was 15. I remember you talking about this that shit's crazy sorry for the video consistency I'm taking my sweater off whoa oh, yeah. do it oh, again hot. but slower <laughs> um. vulnerable <laughs> on the pod <laughs> what's Bob's diner it's a diner. <laughs> It's my favorite diner. Um, <laughs> I love how you ask really deep questions. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> yeah, I love asking. Oh, like you gotta shirt. call them, if, if viewers. If you see this on his shirt, you gotta call. Don't them. call them. Don't don't prank call them. That'd be so. Mean. No, don't prank. Don't, call no, 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 no. Just give them honest business. Go there and uh, be a patron. That's right. Get their Do food. That. I don't yeah. mean prank call them. I mean like just ask them how their day is. I don't believe in no, prank calls. No, no, like, no. Well, that's don't that, ask that a business. A, just how does that count as a prank call? It's a pretty. It's a pretty busy. Busy diner. It's yeah. a busy establishment. Like, what's a what's in, the best thing they place? have? I'm a big diner fan. Oh, oh I love uh, a diner. Yeah. You know, I. <laughs> if it's not French say, onion soup, you're not having it. I love French onion soup. I can't say oh, yeah. I've tried. Um, I would get the same thing every time I went. What I do you go? Always, what do you go for? I'm like a child. I get the um. I always get the stack of uh, pancakes with um, beautiful strawberries and chocolate chips. That's beautiful. Ooh, <laughs> and I, the so coffee good. is great. But the vibes. I love diner pancakes. Oh yeah, but a diner yeah. breakfast is unparalleled. Yeah. Dude, the vibes there are incredible, and the part of the reason is it's a graveyard, like a it's a literal graveyard. Those are gravestones, in there. What? So it's a monumental dining experience. It's like it's a whole cemetery, and then Bob's Diner is like at the front middle. Wow. So it's like yeah, but also Damn. the vibes in the diner. That's hardcore. It's like, yeah. That's a hardcore diner. I love it. Roxboro, Philadelphia. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Is it wait, is that not to say like it has to have a theme, but as the is that involved with like what the diner's no, vibe no. is? Or no, it's just nope. it's just a regular diner. It's just a diner and it happens to be on a cemetery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. They're not serving like grave food. No, there's no like uh this'll kill you or whatever. There's no like <laughs> you know? No, God hey, damn it. Well, we'll now I'm not going. <laughs> we give you food poisoning. That's just yeah, what yeah. we do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to get it out of the way. <laughs> How oh, would you God. rank the three um, breakfast uh, dessert carbs, which I, I uh, French toast, pancakes, and waffles? Oh, oh, that's good. Wow. Ooh. That's tough, actually. Uh, yeah, that's kind of, impossible. If you're if you're thinking <laughs> yeah, about it, not possible, if yeah. you're thinking about it, I will I will give you my answer, uh, which is okay. uh, pancakes at the top, French toast by a slim second, and then waffles. Okay, I actually um, am going to just fully agree, but I'll and I'll give the reasoning. Yeah, yeah. Part of why I like pancakes so much is yes. the customizability. Ooh. Pancakes are a choose your own adventure. Yes, it's not often that you get to go like, can I get French toast and put chocolate chips inside of it? 
it's like that's not happening yes what french toast also a second because it's like a close second because it's just still really good though yeah yeah you know? yeah and the waffles are they can be really good i feel like the best waffles i've had are when it's like like a, a belgian waffle or something yeah. you know what i mean and that's like a whole that's not the waffle on its own you know yeah yeah yeah, I I don't agree with you guys though. I think the, I like that the waffles oh, have pockets. Yeah, I'm a moron. That's <laughs> why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's stupid. Well, yeah. that's well, that's because you're a woman and you don't get pockets anywhere else. Hey, that's true. Oh, I need oh. to compensate for how many pockets I don't have. Look at you, no, Lucas, the with these crazy pockets. Oh, just kidding. These are women's pants. You put waffles at the top. I would put waffles at the top. I would put French toast second. I'd actually put pancakes last, even really? though I love pancakes. Mm. Yeah. Why? Why? Wait. So why? What are you doing? <laughs> I, I'm a freak. I prefer the texture of uh, French toast to the texture of pancakes. Okay. Oh, true. Okay. I love the softness of a pancake. Mm. I li I like how and it's and it's exactly what you said. It's so versatile. You yes. can put stuff in the pancakes on the. It's it. You can. There's so much you can do with it. I think the in is a big deal. Mm. You know, you get that bite and it's like both blueberries and chocolate chips. Chocolate chips and a I pancake. Chocolate chips are. Oh. Unreal. I'm going to go to a diner after this. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. I want that as well. Yeah. I did, you know, I was looking for a good diner. Uh, Kellogg's is great. That's like. That's Kellogg's, is Kellogg's diner, yeah. 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 That's yeah. Shout out. Yeah. Shout out Kellogg's. I found a place recently where, when I was um, doing hospice care for a cat which uh, is the secondary detail to the story. Okay. <laughs> this much less interesting story. It's called John's Coffee Donuts. No punctuation. John's Coffee Donuts. Shout out to John's Coffee Donuts. J-O-H-N-S? Yeah. J Coffee. John's Coffee Donuts. Okay. Donuts. <laughs> okay. They have <laughs> right. grits, then they put butter in the grits. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Shit's like on top of it. Shit's what is amazing. What is that? What is I've never had a Clinton grit. Hill. Okay. I've yeah. never, I've never had grits. Movies. Never had them. Cobble Hill. Never had them. Huh. Oh, you got I would grits. love to try them. Yeah, never had grits though. I've got some in my house if you want to. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, yeah, you can buy them at the grocery store. <laughs> some Wait, I'm not surprised. Soon. It's a very popular yeah. like American food, but yeah, I've just never. The occasion has never arisen where I could have them. Yeah, but have you had oatmeal? I assume, of course. Oh yeah, I've had oatmeal for sure. I've I also feel... had polenta. I don't. I have not had that. What's that? Oh, polenta. It's like it's Italian. It's like cornmeal, and it's like it's sort. It's the consistency of like mashed potato, but it's made from cornmeal. Really. Yeah, it's pretty good. Huh. Okay, that's not but bad. I guess I guess the oatmeal comparison is like grits are as common in the South. For yeah, it, for this the whole thing. Yeah, but yeah. I just had them. Um, the only reason I started having them is my my old roommate in college. One of the, my roommates was from like Texas, and mm. he was like, "Try grits." So yeah, all right. Did. You know what I mean? Where did you go to uh, college again? In Philly. Uh, okay. Drexel. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah yeah. Yeah, near the boathouses. Uh. I guess not totally sure. near it, but <laughs> I guess everything – I've spent a little yeah, time in Yeah, if you get Philly. a bus. Yeah, if you get a bus yeah. or a bike yeah. or a train yeah. or a car. I, I, it's, across, it's across the river and a little – yeah. It's yeah. pretty. It's kind of close to the boathouses, yeah. Yeah, okay. I guess everything in Philly, I feel like, is like 15 minutes away from everything else. It's That's yeah. true. Yeah, Philly's a lot closer together than yeah. stuff. What did was you, it like growing up there? Yeah. Um. I Okay, so I was born in the city, but I grew up outside the city in an area called Bluebell. Um, hmm. So I grew up in the suburbs. Okay. It was the suburbs. Um, did you have a good? Ex <laughs> did you have a good experience in the suburbs, or were you? Yeah. Or are you like, damn? I'm glad I'm out. Oh yeah, I would never live in the suburbs again. Okay. Um, but I. So you hate your family, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're a monster. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think the suburbs are bad for the environment and stuff, and mm. bad for the soul, and are yeah, sheltered yeah. and all that. Like you know, and they're like classist. A whole ton of bad issues with yeah. the suburbs. Um, but. Uh, we did that because of the school system in Philadelphia. The public schools are, like, not that great. Part of the reason is because of it's because of white flight. Like everybody mm -hmm. who can't like if everybody did stay, then we'd have to make the school like. But you know, you got a lot of, you know, uh, people who can afford to leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, but we 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 couldn't pay for the private school, so yeah. we we're like, let's go to the public school over this way. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah. Fucking then I but then I lived in Philly for college and then so like I've lived there for like the last nine years or so. Okay, um, okay. Yeah. So wait, but, but did the, you have a good uh, sorry? In the city itself. I what? see. Yeah. Did you have a good experience in college? And what was yeah. like what was your yeah. major? What did you do? Uh you know how to Dougie? I studied, yeah, yeah, I studied yeah. how to Dougie. Yeah. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I um I studied computers. Okay. 
<laughs> computers really are helpful for Wait, the dougie. In, in coding or like in the physical construction, like building computers? Coding stuff. Yeah, okay. For sure. Yeah. My focus was video game development. Oh, and, nice. Uh, uh, f- flex. Artificial intelligence. <gasps> I love robots. Do you know about Sophia, the robot? That like weird Google one from 2014? Or I love I her. Yeah. <laughs> she's iconic. She's yeah. the, talk about a she they of the week. Oh, okay. She's <laughs> iconic. She's always saying the she says the always, darndest thing. Always speaking her mind. She's yeah. always. Do you have a favorite <laughs> robot? Uh, ooh. Uh, oh, is this? Is this hello, hello. You're doing so good. Yeah, kiss it, kiss <laughs> yeah. it, yes. <laughs> I think. Um, Give it tongue. <laughs> why don't? <laughs> I, 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 almost all the robots are from like some business trying yeah. to make up, mm. make money, and I, you know, I'm not very like. Yeah. Pro. Like, it's like, uh, I don't know. Um, it's like they're trying to, like, like the Boston Dynamics ones are, I guess, the coolest ones, but they're, like, for the military and stuff. And I'm like, yeah. they're, like, now police dogs and shit. Um, so, no. Okay. Yeah, I don't love military police. I'm going to go. I'm going to take a stand. Whoa. <laughs> You're alienating a lot of our base. Yeah. Whoa. The two nosy meerkats army dog apologist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> contingency and the people listening right now is a fucking circle yeah <laughs> this is an rotc podcast this is <laughs> okay uh, favorite role uh my friends were in robotics club in like high school yeah, I yeah. Thought that shit was really cool i wish i had done that oh yeah well maxim allen it was as well in really? high school yeah he did he that. was in the robotics yeah yeah that's what's up i never i never did robotics i just watched from afar they, right i mean i uh so fun to watch though what, I, like battle yeah. bots as well i was talking yeah when he was on i was like talking about how i used to love like robot wars those shows those are awesome yes hell yeah oh yeah, yeah. I, I wish they could like have a gun i love <laughs> you know fight harder i don't know instead of a claw or hammer just yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep a knife <laughs> oh my god <laughs> You know, I think, you know, in light of everything with, with gun control, I think humans shouldn't have guns. But robots <laughs> should have them and use them on each other. All the yes. time, <laughs> yes. Police dogs should have guns. Police dogs should have some emotional Like a gun support. that, like, comes up out of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Mecha dog. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think they fall in love with each other, the police dogs? And the robots? And the ro- <laughs> The, well, the ro- I meant like the robot dogs. Oh do, you th- oh, do you mean like, do you think police dogs have like workplace romance that they have to talk to HR about? Yes, yeah. <laughs> I like the two police dogs. The two police dogs. No, I'm sorry. H. Arf. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Boo. boo. <laughs> do you like puns? Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he hates himself. <laughs> I love puns. I'll good. admit it. You like puns? Yeah. What do you, I what enjoy do you like them, puns? yeah. You a pun guy? No, 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 I don't. Oh, oh okay. Chris, Chris, Chris. Well, <laughs> I'm like, very sorry then. I'm very sorry. Well, I know, but I'm curious because I, you know, I like hearing people's opinions. Um, I think uh, puns I'll, are spontaneous. I'll, I'll lie for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a stand right here. I like opinions. <laughs> I like things oh. that are, are almost like explicitly unfunny because I, mm. I like to, um, this is so fucked up, but it almost makes me laugh to see people really fail want no like want me to stop something i'm doing but not quite have the Wait, courage give me to an example it. give me an example uh, okay so something i do to sylvia a lot my girlfriend is uh i'll tell a really dumb joke and then she won't laugh and then uh i'll, I'll let the silence happen for a bit and then i'll repeat the same <laughs> joke but before i repeat it i'll say just curious if you like the part where i said and then I just say the same joke again. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, yeah, the joke is not the pun itself, but it's like the joke is how the disgusting, disgusting yeah, yeah, yeah. and horrible sure. it is. The joke is that you made them sit through it. Yeah, That's it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I love moments like that. Yeah, it's a those. it's a faux pas, so yeah. to speak. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's oh, like indeed. playing the same song over and over or, or whatever. Like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, you got anything like that? Like a big social thing you love doing as a bit? A big, uh. I've got a bunch of like back pocket jokes that I do. Oh like, yeah. When people ask me what I studied in college, I say how to Dougie. You had a Dougie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a great one. <laughs> a <laughs> banger. Or, uh, uh, which is was way more relevant back when I was declaring <laughs> a major. <laughs> so much more relevant when I first started doing that. Um, there's some there's some that I used to do that I don't do anymore because they did them they weren't that funny. People are like, oh, like I like that shirt to be like, oh, I likes you too. Hello. <laughs> 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 it was dumb. Uh, <laughs> 
Well, I, I think I think I'm glad you stopped that after <laughs> the other shirt started falling I'm in love with your shirt. I'm mad that I never yeah. thought of that. That's such a good bit. <laughs> <laughs> I might bring her back. Hello. That's you definitely so good. Gotta bring her back. Yeah. I think I stopped. I stopped doing it because friends who ha- would see me do it more than once oh, were like, yeah. "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you gotta you know. have a support system to tell you, yeah. to "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the best. That's Is what it? comedy's about: bringing each other down. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, right. I yeah. I was actually for bidden from doing uh my donald duck voice because my roommates were so disgusted with it like it was like really grating to their ears they're like oh no you're actually not allowed to do this anymore wow I was like, okay that's fair i would like you to do it now of course wow yeah <laughs> you're good at impressions <laughs> yeah. you know the first time i saw you was before we met i saw your john yes. impression <laughs> Is that I'm trying to say thank you? Schmeagle. It's real. It's hard. Yeah, that was the part of speaking. Can you yeah. do Donald Duck as John Mulaney? <laughs> I think I may have tried Wait, to do that. I, <laughs> I can't do the voice at all. <laughs> this is. Oh my god. I can't do John Mulaney. Oh my god. This is what is really John Mulaney? Like? I, I, Hello. I can't do it. I cannot do it. The bench. What'd you say? I said I was sitting over on the bench. <laughs> It's tough. It's really, it's so hard to enunciate when doing that. Cause it's like, it's coming through your cheek. You make like a pocket of air in your cheek and you go. <laughs> and so it's like in your cheek that you create the sound, and it, but it restricts, at least for me, it's really hard to enunciate. You just puke, just like, Ugh! that's yeah, my impression. Yeah. Yeah. For those not watching, Benny just threw up. That's yeah. my impression. Of can you do any impressions? Is there any, anyone or anything you uh, can do? You know, I oh, I forget who it was the other night. I can do one. I yes. did like I randomly tried doing somebody, and I like for some reason nailed it. But it was like that's the only one I can't. No, I'm very bad at impressions. Okay. Um, do you remember who it was? I'm any? trying to remember. If it comes to mind, if I'll it do. comes to mind, okay. I think it was Bill Maher. I really? Oh, for some reason, I was doing Incredible. a good job. Oh, with Bill Maher. Um, and I'm gonna fuck it up. So. Oh no 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 judgment. No, I need no it. judgment I need here. It. We're gonna gas you Adulting. up. Adulting. <laughs> oh, oh no, go oh, go for it. Go. Yes, what yes. Is, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You got this. Oh man. And now it's gonna be so bad because I am not I, whatever what whatever voice I yeah. landed on when I was doing it was like accurate. It's a tough one, but it's when it's like Kyle Dunnigan, you know Kyle Dunnigan? Uh he's a, a he's a super talented comedian. He's someone who like you watch him and you're like, Oh, your brain works different. Mm. He he's just one of the, and but he does an amazing Bill Maher impression. Really? I'll I'll show you after we record just like a little burst of it, but he's like, If you're one of those people that thinks you're one of those people, you're not. Okay. <laughs> if you're one of, I can't do it justice. If you're but one it's, of those people that thinks you're one of those people I can't do it at all. It's so Fuck, odd, but, he does but you it. have the like grading thing I, that he has mm. yeah i think I, I think for some reason my vocal cords must just be yeah fairly similar if i'm making a sim- like a certain shape like mm. i just happen to have a similar vocal range somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 you have That's that a... thing that he has where you just that joie de vie. beat the <laughs> 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 you just want to beat the shit out of him. That's that's yeah. You got the. Same. You know, I uh, I see. I I watched his new special. What do you um, think? Adulting. I like you're saying he wanted to beat the shit out of him. I do think he uh, has smug delivery, but I also was like, he's crushing for his audience. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah. 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 I was like, my dad would. I don't know if my dad would. Love, I don't want to put that in my dad. But I'm like that. People our dad's age would like yeah oh love, i'll put it on my parents they love Bill oh Maher. yeah well i i used to watch real time with bomar with my parents when i was like in my early to like Same. mid-teens yeah mm. i would watch uh, he was one of the inventors of clapter and i don't think he knew it <laughs> real oh talk. yeah real talk real, real talk. talk real talk <laughs> was, okay I, this is the word of the day or i don't fucking I'm, that was, was good close. okay listen up people <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was listen good. up people yeah. he, he does like a long look to listen the camera up, people <laughs> yeah he's the uh, net before it was a thing oh my god <laughs> we're gonna have to establish some rules i think that was closer i don't know you're yeah. not you're not far off yeah. if i, I if i did it for like an hour in the mirror and then did a show i could figure it out but mm. i think you should do and i think you should do his set start to finish on just like a bar <laughs> show to two people <laughs> you know i knew a girl in like the fourth grade there was a talent show at my elementary school mm-hmm. and she was a white girl and she did i mean obviously before everything came out about him she recited on stage an entire Bill Cosby routine from start to finish. What came, what came out about? Did he do that? Oh, um, yeah. The um, <laughs> You remember the – his show was canceled. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. It's just, so was he. He just wasn't that funny anymore. He was? Yeah. Bill Cosby? Yeah. Yeah. 
for for wearing too for, many big sweaters. Yeah, for all that fun <laughs> stuff. <laughs> well, your friend did your friend did a whole Bill Cosby act. For... I mean, she wasn't like my. We weren't close. Oh, somebody you, knew it. She was someone I knew. Yeah. Oh, okay. She. Uh, it was the bit where. Uh, Bill Cosby's mom calls, like, says Jesus Christ so much. Oh, yeah, like, that he thought that it was his name. That yeah, he thought it was his name. Yeah, sounds really weird. I, don't know the, I, don't I have know a VH, I have a VHS of that special where really? he does that bit. Yeah, I've tried what I uh, I didn't try watching Bill Cosby until after the stuff. Oh no! <laughs> and I was like, and it's hard for me to because people are like it still holds up, and I was like, ah, let me see. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like I, it's hard to watch, but I uh, it's yeah. also like. Cause the whole time you're thinking about that, but like, I don't know. I also I don't find him that funny. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm watching the wrong stuff. That special though, Bill Cosby himself. I remember watching that as a kid. I was like, God damn, this guy's amazing. But he was never like one of my favorite comedians. Never was he like up there. Like someone who just hit me really deep. He was never that person for mm. me. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I would say Louie. I used to love Louis back I then. I did as well. You know we talk about those yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like one of my influences. For for sure. He was a yeah. very strong influence for me. Yeah. Dane Cook was my first. Really? Dane Cook was huge for me. Wow. Oh, yeah. What did you, what What uh, Dane Cook bits like stood out to you? Do you remember? Um, I One thing that comes to mind is I remember the movie theater bit because so my mom walked by and she like laughed at something that I didn't get because it was a sex joke. It was like, sure. I think um the floor was sticky and he's like, because I just came. Uh, yeah. I was like, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. like, yeah, I was in, I was in uh, sixth grade and hadn't started jerking off yet. So, no. Well, sixth grade <laughs> is what age? Eleven. I was 11? eleven or twelve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, something like that. So you were, you started when you were eighteen. I think so. Yeah, you yeah, haven't yeah. started yet. You, you'll get there I'm one waiting. day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, but, yeah. You, great to have your first time right here. But. <laughs> But, uh, Great fucking, bonus content. Right, yeah. Let's do it. It's for the the Patreon. Yes, I'm a Patreon. Yeah. Patreon exclusive. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> do it. Off. Yeah, the OnlyFans. I yeah. um, yeah, no, he he was the first time I ever watched stand up. Wow. Um, yeah, I didn't get in. I didn't get into stand up until I started doing it. Really? Um, I yeah, I was into Dane Cook, uh, and then Louis in high school. Yeah, uh, and like maybe sporadically a couple other people. Like when Chappelle's show was on TV, I would mm. watch it. Um, and but that's not even like like he would do a little stand up in it sometimes. You know? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Just like the monologue or whatever. Um, I got into but, for me it was George Carlin. He was really? my in. Mm. Yeah. I was uh, introduced him when I was thirteen, and I got obsessed with him. And then I got obsessed with like Louis and um, who else? Oh, Robin Williams for sure. Oh sure, okay. I got I got really into Robin Williams. He's someone that I could just rewatch so often, and I would just find new stuff every single time. Yeah, because it's so yeah. dense. It's he's, so dense. He does like twenty minutes on a lady's scarf. Like, yeah, yeah someone in the yeah. crowd had a scarf, and he just like. I, I remember that. That was inside the actor's studio, and he just improvised this all this yes. amazing Incredible. shit just w- amazing. with a woman's scarf. Yeah. Also, uh, I, I don't want to say Bill Cosby is not funny uh, from the perspective of like not as if like yeah he, he's not funny. I'm just like uh, haven't watched much. You're Benny, I don't know. You you're should. okay. I'm okay right? You're <laughs> so <laughs> okay with that. I, don't <laughs> I cannot believe you are not defending Bill Cosby. Well, how <laughs> dare you? It's not really. It's our so audience is going to come after you. Your comedy <laughs> yeah. career is done. You know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Like, I can handle it. He won't cancel. Unless you're like virtue signal, I just like. Uh, no, you know, yeah. I'm like, I just being watched a bit and was like, I don't really get this. <laughs> hey, yeah. Benny, you need to forgive yourself. Love yeah. yourself for who you are, and for this sure. is you being honest. Hell yeah. Yeah. Do you remember like your first joke that you told? Oh, that's a good um, one. Or do you remember yours, yeah. Lucas? Yeah. I rem- oh, I, I definitely do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my, my mom isn't going to like that I'm talking about. <laughs> but um, uh, it, was, uh, it was about how um, I'm watching The Wolf of Wall Street with my mom. And that, have you guys seen The Wolf of Wall Street? Oh, sure. And for, so for yes. anyone watching or listening who hasn't, um, who hasn't watched or seen it, uh, it starts off with Leo DiCaprio snorting cocaine out of a woman's butt crack. <laughs> and my mom is sitting next to me. It was Isn't my it, is, butt crack. It was your way. butt crack. Yeah. I remember it well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're watching that scene, and my mom goes, why is he doing that? Why in the world is he doing that? She was, like, really annoyed. <laughs> yeah. And I, I thought I thought she was making a point about feminism, like that is using a woman's body as an object or something like that. And so I was like, I don't know, because he's a rich asshole, and he doesn't care about her or 
goals. I don't know. <laughs> like, and then she was like, no, 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 no. You'd lose too much in there. You need a flat surface. Wasteful. Like <laughs> she was mad at his technique. And that was, that was the first thing I ever, I ever tried. Yeah. That's, that's like a joke. That's you should fun. bring it back. Yeah, you, re- you remember yours? Uh, I, my first set I ever did was all dirty puns. Okay. Um, oh, fuck yeah. So Hell I was yeah. in a pun zone. Um, and, and yet you say uh, you don't like puns. I don't. You <laughs> curated them. This is, over, this is, um, this is like, this is first, the first stand up set I ever did was before I started like doing stand up much. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. so this is like, like nine or 10 years ago or something. Yeah. Wow. Um, That's awesome. Fucking, uh, it was about an ex girlfriend. Okay. And it, um, was that I dated a Vietnamese girl and it went and we had a bad breakup. Like it went, it was just a bad relationship. Uh, we're friends now, but that's not part of the joke. Uh, the interview That's with this girl fun. went poorly, and so I refer to the relationship as back in Nam. <laughs> um, which I kind of like that. You know? <laughs> All right, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, but I uh, obviously I never did that joke again because uh, it's. I also don't like jokes that are about real people that I that I know. Mm. Um, I like to tell jokes about bugs or whatever. Yeah. Um, but so I did that set in like that was like uh, okay, it was like 2013, and then I didn't do stand up for like a year. And then the second or third time I did stand up, like completely different act, like all, you know what I mean? Wow. Because I was so, like, I need to work on this. And so, well, can I ask, because like, you're so, you're so good as a one liner yeah. comedian. Do yeah. You, yeah. 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 You but leave right after shirt, you're like, my, my work's done. <laughs> yeah. But do you Thanks, ever want, because <laughs> I remember one time you, you just like riffing, but you're doing a bit about a date that you went on where did they didn't know that you had uh oh you were that yeah, swear yeah, yeah. a swearing Tourette's mm-hmm. and it was a great riff <laughs> it was but do you ever see yourself doing more long form somewhat storytelling type stand up or no um every now and again i try it um the issue like i do want to do that and i've sat down and i've mined my life for stories or whatever mm-hmm. but almost like a lot of the stories they have um have other people in them yes and i don't it's like you know does this reflect poorly on that person and i don't want to like tell a story where like mm. it makes a, an ex look bad actually um my well, my college ex-girlfriend we she like uh she knew i did comedy and uh basically like had me promise that i would never talk about her in my act okay and maybe this is breaking that promise but <laughs> not, well, you not haven't my, said not anything act, bad you, know I mean? you haven't said anything negative no no no, no. yeah and, but i took that to heart and i'm like i will okay. absolutely and like and i expanded on that. i was like that's a great rule to have and like i will never talk about mm. um exes in my act you know what i mean i see or or, my, or people you know yeah my rule is that if i'm ever because I've, I've done stories about, like, odd occurrences or things. I, I don't talk about dating that much in my in my stand-up. I don't talk but, – but I will talk about, like, experiences I've had with, like, people in my life that – where it's a very crazy thing that that person may have said or done. But I will I will actually disguise their identity, and I will describe things about them that are not true about them so, so that their, their identity is completely masked. Because okay. I, I never, I never wanted to come back to that person, and I think, and I think as long as that person is protected, and I then this person that I've created in this story, how I tell it, that person doesn't exist, and so this story is still completely mine. Yes, that's the yeah. that's the sort of Put uh, rule of thumb that I have. Yeah, mm. and yeah, yeah. I I'm, like I'm gonna think about it. yeah. That's I gotta I gotta that. do more of that. I think I love to make other people look bad. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> I love to tear people down. That's my that's my idea yeah. of a good time. Well, like it's, it's good yeah. it's good to have like yeah. a mechanism. You know, Absolutely. Right? Well, there's a, a story about you someone should, shame on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gabby, do better, be better. But there's one of my dad's ex girlfriends reached I'm out to say something. Perfect. One of my dad's ex girlfriends reached out to say something really weird to me. Mm. Uh, after he died, and, and I changed her name in the in the bit, uh, because even though I don't, I'm not fond of her. I'm like, I don't want anyone to like say say or do anything to her if yeah, they definitely. come across her or anything like that. Yeah. For some, I uh, with the name change, it's like some of the so- stories they have. It's like if I did change the name, um, there's people who would go, I know who that's about. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Like, right. And yeah. it would, you know, it would still be unkind within a smaller circle of friends. I see. Um, yeah. But I. And yet you're but, okay you know. insulting bugs. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Good. Why do you make that? Di- why? Why do why, you hate why bugs? Why do you hate bugs? <laughs> what did yeah. they do to you? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, <laughs> you're like, I, out. <laughs> I got in a big argument with somebody one time 
um i've gotten i've gotten this argument a few times with people the idea of like you know um the good like the, somebody was like good comedy is offensive or like has to push no boundaries i'm like of course not you idiot <laughs> i don't know <laughs> I, I think remember. comedy is supposed to make you feel good and happy. Yes. I think sometimes, like, you go to, like, a... I went to this one mic. It was actually in Austin. And it was... I, I mean, the Austin comedy scene's wonderful. But the, this particular mic was, like, a lot of, like, shock comedy. And I was there with my girlfriend. And she was like, I don't know if you should do a lot of your mater usual material. Like, it's too silly. I don't know if they'll like it. And then I went up. I was like, I, well, I can't change the set now. I did it, and I used my dumb opener about my real name, Gabby, being short for Gabagool, and it, Aww. like, it oh, crushed, yeah. I because, say. I don't know if it's because it's, like, a great joke or anything, but it's just because people were, like, sick of trans jokes at that point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they yeah. just wanted to hear something nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been trying to write cleaner, like, for yeah. that reason. However, like, material about someone transitioning into Italian meat, great. That's a great, great joke. Uh, great yeah, joke. Great. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gabagool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gabagool, yes. yeah, yeah. I, no, it's not just my name. <laughs> it is my new lifestyle. I know. On the word. That yeah. explains the smell. Transition. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there oh, is a smell in here, but I thought it was you. Is it them? Is it? I'll pick that up later. Oh, um, it's uh, it's that guy. Yeah. It's, what was that, by the way? Who's it? What now? What What was that that you were eating? Oh, that is uh, my aunt made that food. That's that's uh, your aunt. That's my aunt. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I was eating my aunt. No, it's a it's a tilapia tagine with stuffed peppers, and then that's a cucumber kimchi as well. I was just oh, damn me, dude, having for lunch. Yeah. Damn dude, yeah. That's oh, yeah. crazy. That good as oh, yeah. Hell. yeah. I had uh, what did I have for? lunch i had uh breakfast for lunch i had cereal <laughs> That's you had strudel cereal oh cereal <laughs> strudel strudel would slap Str strudels oh, yeah. go as fuck mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah are you are you Strudel's often like that do you do you break the conventional genres of breakfast lunch and dinner in this case it was because i was actually running late <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I need to wolf something down to get here but also yes I'll, yeah I'll do you know whatever you do know. you know what i uh saw recently explained to me that i never realized before are you guys fans of the movie uh, inglorious bastards the tarantino movie? oh sure yeah. yeah well do you do you remember when hans landa is sitting down with shoshana dreyfus and he they he orders strudel and then she wants to eat and he says no no no, wait for the cream to like put on top that's because strudel was very often made with pig fat lard and then also he wanted to add dairy to it because you're not if you're jewish you're not supposed to have dairy and uh, meat at the same time uh, and so that was his like test to see if she would right eat it's it. the, it's to see if she's kosher or not yeah it's, did she eat it to stay undercover or whatever yeah yeah she she ate it to like yeah wow good test dude <laughs> <laughs> way better than asking yeah. <laughs> gotta just run a test sometimes <laughs> i love the idea of like if he asked i would have told i would have told him the truth <laughs> oh my yeah, god I mean, the kosher stuff is ridiculous yeah, yeah. I, got it, I got it. I've got I've got Orthodox relatives, and they have like three sets of the whatever. They've got three sets of silverware, three like ovens, three sinks, three like whatever. To like for for milk, meat, and parv or whatever. Oh my god! Uh, yeah. Incredibly dumb. Yeah. Before we were recording, <laughs> think, you were talking about your family history and the Jewish mafia. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, they ran shit in Austria. Oh yeah. So okay. So I, my I'm half Jewish. Uh, my dad's side. Um, and that side has some weird. We got some cool stuff in there. Um, my great grandfather was the Jewish mafia in Scranton. He uh, Max Katz, and you can look him up online. You Hell can yeah. for real look him up because he uh, got like he in legal trouble because <laughs> yeah. like you can't um, you can't operate like a speakeasy. So he owned every brothel on the main street in in Scranton. Um, one of them was called Wonder Bar. And there's like an advertisement for there was an advertisement for it like called it was like uh, come see uh, Max Katz K A T Z and his kittens at the Wonder Bar. Nope, um, no, no, <laughs> that's a amazing and, tagline. And so <laughs> it's it's in a like Max Max Katz's Katz kittens versus the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania wow. uh, about like his operating of an illegal speakeasy in like the night. So he went to jail and shit. Um, God, damn. and this is your. Great grandfather or great grand grandfather? My dad's mom's dad. Wow! Uh, All so for giving she... people a good time with his kittens. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So we had we got some. He like he like knocked up a few of them. We think because <laughs> like people came and they're like, we have genetic history that makes us think that like we're your cousin. We're like, well, uh, they're like, do you know who our like uh, mother would have been? Like we we think it's like 
your grand your grandfather and your grandma like it's not her it's one of those uh various <sighs> prostitutes that he had <laughs> wow. I thought it would have been obvious when there was like a full litter of kittens out of nowhere. In the... <laughs> I it well, been... he was he was a shitty guy and would abandon them. Oh, oh so God. They, sucks. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, so yeah. when he, um, let's see. I'm trying to think of other facts about the situation. When he uh, when he died, the mafia came to his funeral to make sure he was actually dead. What that did they something. did they do something like? Well, I guess that, I guess faking your own death was something. So whoa. Um, did they know, like to get out of stab or something? What did they do? Well, I don't know how he died. Um, oh, okay. Like, I mean, I think they just made sure it was actually him in the. Casket. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. Um, you guys ever try it? Uh, dying? <laughs> uh, uh, no, f- uh, faking it. <laughs> you ever fake your own death? I, uh, I remember once I tried to be as limp as I could at the bottom of a pool to see if I could cause a reaction when I was like five. It's fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> well, all You're I realized was that piece of shit. I, I was, yeah, but I realized I'm just really good at holding my breath. <laughs> do you think you might be a merman? You never know. Do you believe in, in, uh, do you watch YouTube videos about like sea conspiracy theories? Cause oh I, yeah. Cause yeah. I do. That's one of my like YouTube holes. I'm, um, not merman, but I do love the idea of like deep sea fish and stuff. Like, oh yeah. Like, oh, co- yeah. like colossal squid well, and all we've that. We've talked a few yeah. times. Oh yeah. But we've talked a few times about this special that was on animal planet or national Ge- i think it was animal planet it was qual- it was called aquatic apes the body found oh. and it was about what we thought were marine biologists talking about very weird sets of bones and body parts that they found on that didn't match anything other uh that they knew uh that it lived in the water, but the only thing that made sense was that they were mer people or like apes that had adapted over time to live in water. Okay. That like they had like hips that looked like they were human hips that looked like they were there to support weight and then feet, fins and stuff. It was, but then it turns out they were all hired actors. Ah, and, yeah. It's just like the whole thing was fake. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. But it to was... throw us off the scent of real mermaids, I yeah. believe. Mm. Interesting. So yeah. you, do you actually believe in mermaids? I think it's possible. Okay. The I'm thing is, like, it. they present it as something that's really <laughs> serious. They present it as something. The idea is that um, instead of us being like a direct line of like land apes that evolved into humans, it was the they said that over time, like there was one faction of like apes that became semi-aquatic. They lived near the water. They got really good at swimming, and then see that. we it's broke off of yeah. them, and then they broke off and became fully aquatic, which is why a lot of our body is hairless. That is, that I have heard that as an actual. Like, yeah. like, we didn't evolve in the savannah. We evolved in, like, similar to, like, elephants and hippos in sort of, like, the waters of Africa. So yes. Like, kind of yeah, like, yeah. That's why we stand upright. Because, mm. uh, like, I don't know. I, yeah. Th- that was, like, a, there was, like, a, some old TED talk about that shit. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Aquatic Because that sounds plausible. What it's also this, that, like, apparently. Joe Rogan podcast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pull it up, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie, can you, can you pull it up? <laughs> humans evolved from aquatic apes. <laughs> yeah. I do think something funny about comedy podcasts is it's, like, people talking and doing no research like this is what our what we do we yeah. we're you know when we all talk to our friends right like we have these theories that are probably like if a real scientist came on they'd be like nah that's so not true yeah no. <laughs> but the joy yeah. is in the theorizing the idea mm. that it could be true yeah that's yeah. what's most important yeah you watch yeah, enough sorry. youtube videos of anything you think it might be true yeah i mean you know I'll tell you. I'll yeah, tell you, I mean, I'll, yeah. all the YouTube videos I'm watching are like the train logistics, and I'm like, damn, I wonder Tra- if that's true. Train <laughs> logistics? <laughs> They're making. Yeah, there's a um, phenomenal channel called Wendover Productions, and okay. it's all logistics stuff. It's like, it's like, here's the system of how corn gets from like seed to your table. You know oh, right? okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah. Oh, like supply train. Yeah, supply chain. Supp- Sorry. Yes, yeah, supply chain. He does like different industries, so he'll, you know, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, he's like. Uh, Here's the airline industry and like why they're switching from like long haul flights to like short flights or like what or whatever okay. you know. Here's the tr- freight system in America. Mm. Um, you know. I think I there's got to be more freight trains. Oh yeah, freight. The freight they it's a big issue because they own a lot of like the rail and then so they control. Oh yeah. Like that I think that's sense. I've it's been a while since I watched the train one, but one of the train ones, but they own a lot of rail and so passenger cars have to pay like a premium to go on their like Whoa. Um, I want a high speed rail system in the United States so oh, bad. Oh I want one that goes to Europe through like Greenland and Iceland and then stops off and like be awesome. You, I that's what I want. 
Yeah, high speed rail. That would slap. Yeah, that was, <laughs> bro. That'd be sick. Bro, I want Thomas rail. the Tank Engine to take me somewhere. <laughs> high yeah. speed rail would fuck. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I will say another sort of YouTube rabbit hole for me are PC building videos. I really? Love Did you build PC. a PC? I've never built one. Oh, the shit. thing is, like, I'm a Mac user, and I and I'm not like a PC gamer. There is no reason for me to have a PC other than that I just really want to build one. It's PC <laughs> culture. Yeah. I saw a cool video, a cool video where a guy made it. I got it. Oh, I got you. Oh, yeah, it's yep, okay. yep. See, those are yeah. the puns. I got yep. you. <laughs> those are the puns that everyone hates. <laughs> it's uh, one way they made a fish tank. It, yep. It's mm. like a, a fish tank computer yeah it was a computer in it yeah, yeah that was awesome it. but the, yeah. it's like not actual water there's no we can't put fish in it so it's like, right oh that's a bu- that's, that's annoying it looks really cool though the yeah. fish would be yeah. great at using a computer yeah yeah tell us why <laughs> <laughs> you know they're really um uh, you know the 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 uh cd-rom f- uh freddy the fish yes maybe think. It's like a like a second grader game. Yes. Yeah. yeah that that was some fun. I love yeah, 100p. Oh, Did you guys I, ever play the one with the fribbles and shit? Fribbles. What am I thinking of? I, I played a bunch of those like old entertainment yeah. games. The fribble. Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Like Freddy the Fish. Yeah, Freddy the Fish was. Uh, so I think fish should be able to play Freddy the Fish so they can feel represented on screen. Mm. Oh shit! You ever see uh, Twitch plays Pokemon? Like. Yes. They had, they had a fish play Pokemon. They that was the first thing I. Freddy the fish. Oh yeah, it was like wasn't it like bunch of people like mashing uh yes. commands and yeah. it was just like and it was like the protagonist just be like j- running around in circles but somehow they beat the game they beat the game do you know about this i don't oh okay. a group so, of people all having the controls to one game of pokemon and they did it because you can go like up down left right a and b start and select and in it's a twitch chat you could type a and it would click the a button in the game like whatever people set like live stream chat you could say b and then it would click b and so they played the entire game with a thou like thousands of people going like left right left left right and so the <laughs> oh character on God. screen was just going like that's fucking chaotic like opening his menu and closing his menu yeah and, like, yeah yeah and so and they you know, won they beat yeah. the game it took like tons of time oh i'm yeah. sure were people doing it in good faith though like were people it, trying it was a mix i think okay. so it was a mix different yeah. cultures evolved where people trying to derail people spamming b so that you couldn't do anything with a menu you know what i mean yeah, people spamming yeah. the menu so that you could do something with the menu you know what i mean like, oh yeah. yeah smart smart people trying to idiot proof each other yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that's like uh on chopped when uh, they have viewers make the baskets i don't think they do it anymore because viewers always do the, the things in bad faith mm. they always choose like durian with like no ingredients that go well with durian and it's like hard <laughs> to make it taste good like the especially if you're not like a like a, a chef who's like worked with that before mm. uh i feel like at one point i saw like a chop judging session where one of the judges was just like or not judges uh, chefs was like these people just have no idea what we do <laughs> it was kind of a bitter thing to say if you guys went on a if you went on a what tv what reality tv show would you do the best on i'd do well on the circle i think the which circle one, which one's that that is the one where um, it's on Netflix and it's like a game where you're like isolated alone in an apartment and you have to like we all did, you know, <laughs> yeah. for a while. Right. And that's easy now. We're all. Yeah, good that's shit yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. You have to do like group chats with people, but they're strategic because you uh, the, uh, there's a possibility that you'll get blocked if you're not well liked enough. Oh, wait, is it is it social or is it dating or what's the it's social, but you like can flirt. Mm. and you can play as yourself or you can catfish as like another person um, and they have a lot of crazy twists and turns like at one point the spice girls had a catfish profile that shit was crazy oh yeah interesting yeah the real spice somebody the catfished real, like the as real lance spice bass girls came in and pretended to be like somebody else yes the real wow. spice girl not all five of them there's two of them posh spice came in and was like i'm down to earth spice <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know fucking uh what am i thinking i would do the best on Sex Island. <laughs> yeah, baby. Sex Island. Get on Sex Island. <laughs> that one of them? I don't know. Do you know what? <laughs> Honestly, what I, I'm fascinated by is I would love to go on Love Is Blind, see if mm-hmm. I if I <laughs> this is gonna sound so manipulative, but if I could get someone to be engaged to me, and then just I can't wait to see their reaction when they see what I look like for the first time. Oh, but you would be able to see them the whole time. Just so no, you can't. Oh, I oh, do you if want, I could do, do that. Do you want to kind of have like the power in the 
Situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. I want that too. I like just for that pure moment of like, yeah, what it. What, so if somebody has to be marry me, based solely on our conversation and what I sound, uh, everything else, ex- yeah. yeah. And then I would be so fascinated to see what they would think when they first saw me. After <laughs> Love Is Blind is a terrible experiment because everyone they cast on that show is already hot. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's good. That's kind of them. Imagine if they were like. I think like, it's fucking and infuriating. We, and we got half uggos and half hot people. That's what I want. Yes. I want all uggos. I want uggos in love. <laughs> yeah. Uggos in love. Oh. Uggos in that love. Should be, that should be your show. Yeah. Uggos in love. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna make uggos a new uggos. love is blind. Call. Oh, is <laughs> what if we? What if we I became be on, like the? Um, You'd be Vanessa on uggos in love. Nick, <laughs> what if we're the Vanessa and Nick Lachey? Oh, uh, fuck yeah. Like We'd be we, great um, at that. I think her name is Vanessa. I mean, yeah, but we like we started Vanessa. and we were like, hey, you guys are here for love. And, <laughs> and just... Well, love, love is blind, but... They just all look you like You think bricks. love is blind? <laughs> it should be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, so like you should be... You should... If you fall in love with... I've, I've felt like... Um, you know, if somebody is like, like you know, physically attractive, and then you don't like them as a person. Oh, sure, like, yeah. And, and then vice versa. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Somebody, you know, a horribly, horribly ugly old hag. Yeah, I, that was my ex-wife. <laughs> Hagfish. We were married for yeah. years. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, you guys were married. Yeah. Ex-wife. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. You I know. Don't? I have a joke I like about. The bit. Yeah, no, I've got. I have a joke on stage about having an ex-wife, and the older I get, the less it's funny. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's more and more Cause it's believable. Because like, yeah. I, I wrote it in like college, and so it was funny, right? As, like, a bit, and like now people are like, oh. And I'm like, no, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Are Wait, okay? what if you like shave the mustache just for the joke to work once on TV or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, because mustache correlates well with the with the ex wife vibe, but I think yeah, you wear yeah. it really well. Oh yeah, it definitely that. suits you, and yeah. it doesn't make me think of any other sort of mustache stereotypes or other sort of archetypes of Luigi. wear mustache. Yeah, Luigi. Yeah, <laughs> I you only, feel like Luigi. Yeah. yeah, with you, I just think of you. I don't think of anyone. Uh, I don't think of any other kind of mustache. Well, I think I Mario. That. Mario, really? No, Luigi is Luigi is what I get the most. Yeah, yeah really. Sure. Especially if I'm wearing green. Luigi's yeah. a G. Oh, yeah. You're like, especially if I'm wearing green overalls with an L on the Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The I... dress up in it. Especially oh! when I kill <laughs> mushrooms. Yeah. Do you have but, a favorite uh, Mario character? Is it Luigi? Oh, that's a good one. I want to know yours as well. What's I go Dry one? Bones. Dry Bones? Um, oh, I, I like am into bones. Bowser. Bowser? Okay. I like the Meevil. Mm. Okay. Well, okay. Luigi's up there, but I, uh, if I give it more thought for like a split second, I'm going to go with. Uh. Mm. Hmm. I really like. I like a lot of them. Yeah. Name some of them. Uh, uh Daisy. That's actually Daisy. one of my favorites. Mm. It's Daisy, Peach. The Total Princess Peach. What, okay, what come to mind was Flood. Uh, Mario is like sunshine backpack thing. For oh reason, like yeah. Oh, I like oh, Flood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They seem like a nice universe. I'm a big fan of Monty mm. Mole. Oh, assholes. Oh, <laughs> Monty I like Mole Monty is Mole. A great one. Yeah. yeah. Monty Mole. Even the mean guys are kind of nice. Like, Wario just seems like a crotchety old man. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Seem they're all evil. good characters. He yeah. lay of the day. Waluigi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, fucking, who exists in that one? Toad is funny. Toad, Yoshi, yeah, yeah. Yoshi is a, a big one. Birdo. Oh, yeah. Probably, I would His I'm sister probably wife. like Yoshi the best. I'd say Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> well, I cannot tell if Birdo's the sister or the wife. <laughs> so I think she's the sister. Porque no las dos. Uh... <laughs> Birdo's cool. I like playing. I like playing as Birdo in um, Mario Baseball because Ooh. she can stick her tongue out really far. I know that sounds dirty. She looks like the Philly fanatic. Oh, right? she does. That's an oh, iconic you're mascot. Right. He's like he's like if Yoshi and Birdo had a baby. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, you know, which you they would so if right. they were married, which and I do not. Which know. is illegal. Because <laughs> they're siblings. Because they're siblings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh damn. Yeah. Um, right. Speaking, wait. Speaking of, there oh, actually yes. is a listener submission about uh, Mario characters. Hell yeah! That Let's I bring think. It up. So we we occasionally, so you know the format. We get listener submissions. Sometimes people want advice. Sometimes they, it's an open ended question for us to comment Imagine on. Imagine wanting advice from me. <laughs> um, I want advice from you. I, how, I do. How are you so freaking awesome? <laughs> no, no, no. I, uh, no. <laughs> I spend my time playing video games. What general <laughs> advice do you have for the world? Play more video games. Uh, vibe, hang out. Vibe, yeah. <laughs> you got a vibe. I honestly, like, I've been thinking a lot about how, like, 
I feel like the goal of the world is just hanging out. Yeah, like, so like, right about like that. Like everything that's like an issue is like stuff getting in the way of people trying to hang out. You know what I mean? Mm. Like yes. if you kill somebody, it's like, oh man, that person has so much more kicking it to do. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Dude, that's so uh, deep. You've been spending time with them and it's hanging out with that person. You know what I mean? Yeah, yes. like, that, uh, that, you know. that would be a great joke. Like, man, I can never murder someone because I'll because after I kill someone, I'd be like, damn, that person had so many other hang sessions. That's in right. Them. Yeah. That's right. You know, <laughs> a, a person you've killed is just a friend you have lost. Yeah, and I think and it, you know, that's the big issue with like relationship drama. It's like you know, it's a friend you've lost. Oh or, yeah, that's a bummer. Um, any issue with friends is like, that's a friend you've lost. Yeah. But then yeah. if people aren't being cool, it's like, man, you're ruining the hang. You're ruining the yeah, hang, you know? yeah. But, when the show Friends was canceled, that was six friends we all lost. Yeah, you're right. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when, yeah. Now they're just David Schwimmer. All of them. Yeah, all of them <laughs> are just David Schwimmer. <laughs> they, all into, they all disappeared and morphed into Jennifer one man. Jennifer Aniston <laughs> is now David Schwimmer. <laughs> it's true. The movie uh, uh, Cake starred David Schwimmer. Wait, I don't know cake? why I don't know why I chose the most obscure Jennifer Aniston movie. Cake. Cake was a great movie. I don't know. You never saw Cake? I'm a big fan friends. of Horrible Bosses. That's a great movie. Horrible Bosses. That was a good movie. A that was great. With um the guy from Always Sunny, right? Charlie Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlie Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He I remember him in an interview saying how intimidated he was to not like ha- not that Jennifer Aniston was like a romantic interest, but where she was being like very sexual with him, he was like, "This is so weird." <laughs> like I've, I've seen you for so long, and now you're just like naked in front of me. It's like, yeah, yeah, absolutely insane. Okay, Fuck. sorry. Fuck. Indeed. Fuck. Yeah, Indeed. yeah you're ru- no ru- no, ha- but that's good advice. No ruining the hang. Just, it actually reminds oh, yeah. me of something you said on Maxim's podcast about how like. A lot of the shout times, out like, Allen. shout to the out pod. to Max Hell Allen, yeah. friend of the pod. A lot of time, mics are, like, for the hang. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. You gotta oh, have yeah. the hang. If, even if, like, even if you bomb, it's, I mean, you know, as long as the people already know you. Yeah, right. We're hanging out. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All right. So, I have a submission pulled up. It says, look, I know this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but Bowser should be a stripper. Like, imagine. Bowser would be so graceful on the pole. I could also imagine him doing, like, flashy glitter makeup and breathing fire on the pole. Imagine the types of people Bowser would attract, especially if he were dancing on that pole in leather. OMG, Bowser in leather. Even my cold heart skipped a beat. Oh, what if Mario was there? I bet he'd love the sight. I'm sure he would empty his wallet for thick leather boy Bowser. No, <laughs> and what? Thick. And what would Mario do after Bowser's hefty shift on the pole is done? He'd take him to his place, and you know, the rest of the story just writes itself. I don't need to go on and on about Bowser's bussy being blasted by a man who knows his way around the plumbing, if you know what I mean, and how Bowser and Mario, two diametrically opposed forces, meet as one in bed and enjoy the communion of shared orgasm. Aw, fuck, I did it anyway. I hope you don't care. Anywho, I think I want to fuck him. Bowser, the turtle. That's what the whole spiel was about. Ha. Okay, do you mind if I ask, what was the submission prompt? Was it just submit anything? <laughs> Tell us about any advice you might need. Uh, okay. Advice? Oh, my God. You know? I don't know. <laughs> Touch grass. Get out of the house. <laughs> I would I would say go outside. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's funny. I don't know. Okay, okay. Uh, so, so, okay, I walked away from part of it because it was so disturbing. Um is the idea that Mario is at the strip club and Bowser's there in his leather getup and they go home together and have sex? Is that the TLDR? That seems to, that seems to be the Yeah, bit. I think it's that Bowser is a stripper, okay. Mario is a patron. A patron and <laughs> John. If you don't, if you don't, listen, if you don't want to touch grass, start a Tumblr, <laughs> get some gifts, learn to draw, make this a reality. This is yeah. you. Yeah, you there are I mean? people, it sounds like, that need this. I like the idea of Bowser taking off like his shell. And then he's, like, a, he's like secretly like a really hot like uh, I don't know a like, really yeah, the shell is like two hundred pounds of weight a <laughs> thick queen yeah, under like, the shell yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and then yeah. he like, he p- puts leather on that yeah. Yeah yeah, yeah 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 he actually looks like Cardi B under the shell yeah. <laughs> he's just got a fat ass <laughs> but he's all green <laughs> lots of tattoos as well yeah oh my god. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, go uh, go one. outside, touch grass. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> touch it real good. Okay, someone said, I tried to think of something really funny to say here, but I got stage fright and now I'm drawing a blank. 
I feel like a coward, and I worry that moments like this will continue to haunt me in my everyday life until I die. It's actually pretty deep. Wow. Hmm. Even when you had time, you still only wrote Touch that. grass. Touch yeah, grass. touch grass. <laughs> touch grass. Touch get out of your head, dude. Our answer for anybody that submits a question to a podcast, get outside. <laughs> 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 you're, fucking... <laughs> you're barking up the wrong fucking tree. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> you need to leave right now. Now, that person sounds like someone who's, like, very easily stressed. And no, I do yeah, not yeah. envy wish, that person. I wish you the best. Um, you know, meditate. Yeah. Do you meditate? Uh, you know, not... Um, a little bit not like i don't do any of the practices i don't do like transcendental or anything specific but i'll sit and think for a while you know okay. yeah Be same like, try That's to focus good. on mindfulness nice yeah. but i think I, not mindfulness in terms of like just being mindful of others as opposed to whatever the whatever it's supposed to mean mm. um like mindful not not being like mindful of like let me examine every breath um, okay i do that sometimes but if i no i don't <laughs> <laughs> you do examine every breath. I've done that a few times, but then I'm like, all right, I'm breathing. <laughs> yeah, it's too many breaths. Yeah, you know, I'd rather I'd rather like think about um, the stuff I like. I'd rather focus on uh, am I being a good friend or whatever. I'd rather right. that yeah. Stuff. I'd rather make myself worry while I'm meditating. Yeah, really? no, oh, that's yeah. that's what's important. The anxiety. It's good to get, yeah, it yeah. gets it gets your heart going. Nice cardio. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna sound like Low a high impact. thought, but when I meditate, I like feeling the air. I like focusing oh, yeah, yeah. on okay. how the air feels. I, I like doing it outside because there's no air inside. That's yeah. why these people need grass. <laughs> no, true. Yeah, that's all right. The our air advice. doesn't move yep. when you're Don't. indoors. It's such a sub. Yeah. It's like <laughs> <laughs> waits for you to whip it with laser. a window. Yeah, <laughs> I want the air to hit me like I deserve. <laughs> <laughs> the air just sits here and takes it. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. I'm such an air simp. <laughs> it's terrible. You see. I almost miss you bringing up taints now. Goodness. <laughs> that pun was so bad that I'm like, I understand you're doing the other style of joke, but it's like, the, <laughs> yeah. the fuck it. I'm like, damn. <laughs> but it's like you want the Bowser poem back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I understand. Yeah. It's fair. I, oh, yeah. Who wouldn't? I'm going to be thinking about that for a long time. There's yeah. one very, very, there's one very, uh, one very short last uh, submission, which was, uh, there was a rumor that someone in my school's musical had a feet kink, and we were all told to keep our shoes on. It depends on how bad the feet kink is. Because, oh, yeah. Because you can have a feet kink, and, like, that's fine. I like feet. You know, whatever. Do you like feet? I like feet. I'm not, like, uh, I would, I've got my socks on for the camera. Um, oh, yeah. I'm not, like, Do you uh, like them off more, though? <laughs> No, I'd say I'd say body. I'd say I'd say I they're fun. I'm not like against them. They're fun. Okay. Uh, I've got it. I I like them. I like ears. That's my kink. That's my main thing. Really? That's okay. For sure. Um, hide those. But <laughs> it's like, uh, but it's like uh, with this with this person, it's like, you know, um, that's only an issue if they're being weird about it. Mm. You know, if they're like taking photos of your feet and selling them oh, yeah, without yeah, yeah. your permission or something. But if they're just enjoying like, the vibe of the room, if they're just enjoying your feet, that's on them, dude. That's whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's fine. Yeah. No, don't kink shame somebody if they just enjoy. A that's thing, good. Yeah. You know? I I think that's a fair. That's generally a good rule of thumb, unless they do something to actually make it a like somehow invade invading your privacy or right. yeah. That's then right. yeah. But what's driving me crazy about that is that why were they then told to keep socks on? I mean, the Feet King must have been pretty... How did it become to, like, the person running the musical? How did it come to their attention? That's what I want to know. Maybe maybe, maybe this person who has the Feet Fetish is being creepy or something. Yeah. Maybe maybe, maybe people... Maybe they're, like... Saying, I think probably. Like, yeah, they're, they're saying anything that that person likes, we don't want to mm. enable... Or something. I don't but know. it feels almost like in middle school when you know when the girls would have to put like a what were, what'd you say? They're bullying this somebody whoever has this foot fetish. They're bullying yeah, them. it's really yeah. cruel. Yeah. Honestly, there You're should a be a euphoria. <laughs> yeah. no, I don't know. You're a fucking <laughs> asshole. You know, like in middle school, like if you wore a halter top. I mean, I guess this was just me. Halter, you wore I actually I don't know what a halter top is either. If you had the spaghetti straps, you had to change okay. your shirt because it was like distracting to the boys. Oh yeah, we had that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What if it was like that, but with feet? <laughs> <laughs> I see. I like see. multiple people had a foot kink. It was like, all right, girls, keep your keep your. Because I don't imagine people are going for male feet. 
Yeah. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. That would actually be a re- that would be, maybe make like a really good sketch where like all these boys have to have like this dress code that is super restrictive on what they could on what they could wear on their feet because all women just have intense feet kinks at the school. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would I, rule. I actually like understand. The female teachers are like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> showing ankle. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I don't know. You know what you're doing. <laughs> I'd have to know more about the Slut. context. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> you have to know more about the context. Of I'd, I'd have to. Yeah. I'd have to know if they, if the person who has the foot fetish, if it's like a friend or if it's like somebody that is disliked or like, mm. like is it? You know what I mean? Are they? Are they trying to kink shame? You know what's happening in that situation? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, fair enough. So I my think... my advice is um, figure it out. Yeah, touch, and touch grass. grass. Yeah, yeah touch grass. go outside. Go outside. I think you're probably your right in grass. that the whoever had this probably was doing something untoward. Mm. I'm thinking that's probably maybe what like happened. Dan Schneider vibes. Remember like the iCarly oh, showrunner? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever saw, did you ever see iCarly the kids show? A little bit. When you were I, not, not much. There was yep. a the showrunner was accused of like putting a bunch of like feet fetish references like coded into <laughs> you. You you know how that's like funny. There, there's like compilations. <laughs> it is kind of funny. It, but is, is, but he's being weird about it. Though. But he's pretty. Okay. We- I mean, the he's not. It's being a cool. kids. It's a kids show, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. Allegedly, okay, he's sure. a really creepy dude. I but it, it is funny to just slip the references. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If it's just like, if it, I don't, yeah, I could. It's that's conceptually funny, but also execution wise, probably pretty creepy to do. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we are coming towards the end of our podcast where we have something called Self Perception Corner, oh, sure. where we ask our guests to describe how they are, how they believe other people perceive them, and then we say how we actually perceive you. Oh, okay. Wow. You've been more <laughs> excited about this than any guest in a long time. Oh yeah, time. people hate this usually. <laughs> yeah, a lot of guests freak out. I um, uh, I want to know how I'm perceived, but I'm also uh, fr- I am freaking out. Slightly. Okay, 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 okay. In my head. I, uh, I'll say that on this episode, I felt like I came in funnier. At, uh, like, not in, in general answer, but on specifically in here. I was like, I came in, I was like doing some jokes. And then um, I am often concerned about signaling stuff. And I think uh, when you asked me my major, and I went down the path of talking about being like a computer guy and stuff, I'm always, I always feel like that anything that I'm doing that feels like a flex, I always feel like is annoying. Mm, I always feel like okay. if I talk mm. about studying computer stuff, people are like, you're like, you know what I mean? And it's a weird, um, and it's like, I had a bad, I was a bad student. I had a 2.6 GPA. You know what I mean? I was dumb as shit. Uh, and so it's like this, like, um, how did, wh- how did you perceive that moment? How did that come across for you? When you brought it up? When you asked. And I, I thought it was yeah. hilarious no, it was that you said you majored in okay. dugging. Oh, yeah, was, that was like, great. I was jealous I didn't Hell think yeah. of that. <laughs> but, then you, but then you spoke about like uh, be, uh, majoring in computers, and I was, I was just interested. I wanted to hear more about you're what you did. And, yeah. okay. I think and you're an interesting guy. Yes. I appreciate that. I also think I'll... that anyone who's worried about flexing like never is flexing. Mm. Interesting. I'm, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, you're not I'm... impressive. Yeah, yeah, you fucking suck. <laughs> yeah. I'm constantly worried about being like, if I um, am like, I don't want to be like, uh, like if somebody asks how a show went mm. and I think it went well, I'll be like, oh, it was, it was fun. You know what I mean? Or like, oh, like if I, I don't know, like if I feel like I did really well or something, I'm going to be like, it was a good time. You know, I don't know. Yeah. I'm or like be... the crowd was loving it or something, but not even like. It's, but it's, you know, even, you know. Not even like, I, uh, like mm, I did, yeah. I made the crowd love it. Like the crowd was hot or some people For say sure. that. Like, and even the... in this moment, it feels like I'm trying to look modest. Do you know what I mean? It's a uh, you are you know. tied in knots in that. <laughs> I'm tied in knots in that big department. brain in, of yours. <laughs> yeah, you're tied in knots. I um I would say how I feel like I'm per- perceived. Often, whenever I see myself in the mirror, uh, I'm always like, I think I come across as a goofy little fella. Uh, not a, go- <laughs> not a goofy do. little fella. Um, I, Luigi has been. I I think I give off more Luigi vibes than I realize sometimes. Um, so, uh, hmm. I don't know. It's tricky. Cause okay. When I meet new people before mm. they see my act, they, I often get the vibe. They don't like me. Mm. Um, or they don't want to talk to me. They don't want to meet me. Um, cause I think that I look like just a, like, once you get to know me, you're like, Benny's kind of like Luigi maybe, you know? But if you <laughs> don't know me, I look like just another white dude who might just be kind of like annoying or shitty or something. Um, maybe that's how I dress or something. Um, 
but i don't know yeah yeah uh, I, how do you perceive me <laughs> is that the, the i instant <laughs> I, I was instantly attracted to your personality instantly well, your first time you saw me was doing my act yes that is that's, true that's that's what i'm saying once people see me do my act or if once I talk to them after a little while. Yeah. But you saw me doing my act and I get up there and I'm telling my prepared jokes and stuff. If I met you, if we started talking before that, mm. it, I have okay, a hard okay, time. Let's, okay, let's let's make up a scenario. You know? So we just let's role play. Yeah, let's role play mm-hmm. as us. Um sure. so let's say we meet somewhere mutual like let's say let's say we're party. at a mutual friends party. Mm-hmm. And I don't know that you're a comedian. Am I allowed to ask what you do or say, or, and you say you do stand up and then we can talk about doing, is that something we're allowed to say or can we not? And I have to base your personality on something totally different. Yeah, we can say, we can say that. I mean, I would, okay. da- cause I mean, I'm just going to be, I would be like, you know, I'd try to be friendly and yeah, nice yeah, and yeah. honest, but I think like, um, I don't know. It's hard to figure out why it's hard to know why. Uh, mm. cause it's like, if I'm, if I meet a random person at a party mm. and like, maybe if I want to meet them too, like if it's like, uh, maybe like I like their vibe where I've seen their stuff or something, uh, maybe I like, maybe I come across, um, like, like if I, if I'm, I'm being friendly, I feel like I come across as, um, like naive or something. Um, uh, so, okay. Something that's happened to me a few times is like it'll be a comedian who i like them like i'll like a comedian and they haven't seen me yet they don't know who i am and i like meet them i'm trying to shoot the shit with them and they feel like i'm trying to like climb them or something um like social climb that is the most that other person is the stupidest person on earth that (laughs) never once thought that i and i never in my wildest like i also hate that shit i hate that like at the end of the day, none of us are household names, and I believe right. that like that's because co- the state of comedy is just that like there's honestly not that many comics that are household names. Yeah. Oh sure. People sure. who like my mother would know. She would know like who Dave Chappelle is. She maybe would know who Maria Bamford is. Mm. Maybe. And like she's huge to us, but like not even. So the idea oh, yeah. that some like I think we forget how niche comedy actually yeah. still <laughs> yeah. is. The idea that some comic who like gets booked every night for their friends' bar shows <laughs> thinks you, who probably are more successful than them, by the way, because you have like done a lot in your comedy career. Yeah, you've done a lot. Like of are trying to fucking social climb them. Well, so that's that's I mean that's part of what happens is then I'll do my act, and if it goes well then they'll talk to me completely different. Ah! And that, Whoa, so, yeah. so I get, and the, the reason I'm like really aware of this is because people talk to me completely different after they, like if I, if I talk to people before a show and then I do my act, I can see it. They, it's sometimes it's, a, it's, sometimes it's like, I can see who's like really, really fake. Cause mm. I'm like, Oh, oh you did a one. Yeah. But it's also, but it's not, it, it, you know, but I don't mean to be that judgmental. Cause it's also like, Sometimes people want to be more reserved. Also, they don't want to be like, what if I went on stage and was really homophobic or something? You know what I mean? Or like, cause you, sometimes you'll, sometimes I'll meet somebody and then they'll go on stage and say some shit. And I'm like, Oh fuck. Yeah. I right. didn't know you were about to do a bunch of trans jokes that are bad. <laughs> yeah. You know what, I mean? what you mean? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, maybe I give off the vibe that I might say something like that on stage. I don't know. Interesting. But, okay. No. no, I never saw. <laughs> I mean, I also first saw you doing your act. I think we met at Lucas's show, the Seth show. I think so. Yeah. yeah. yeah and I was like, damn, this guy's fucking like, there's nobody like you out there. Oh, yeah. The, what you do. Mitch like, Hedberg. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, Mitch, <laughs> yeah. There's nobody out there except that you're stealing one guy's act <laughs> yeah. from yeah. the 70s. <laughs> but uh, like talking to you now, like, getting to like know you kind of, I'm like, oh, like what, the minute you were like. I don't want people to think I hate Cosby's jokes. I was like, this guy's so fucking nice. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is way too nice for this world. <laughs> I'm not saying nice because you're like defending Cosby, but be- just because you're like. I am. I love what he did. <laughs> <laughs> it's the jokes I don't like. The Quaaludes, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there should be more. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm not a fan of his comedy. I just really love who he is as a person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, th- I think you're <laughs> a good. Co- I think you're a cool dude. I think you're very nice. Thank yes. you. You guys have been very nice. No, I think you guys are so nice. Yeah, you also seem. You. you also seem like a very <laughs> active listener and someone who's like just a very present person. Yeah. Well, we're being recorded, and I have to. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. The minute we get off, there, there's gonna be a, a, a different yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna be so fucking mean. 
No, I I've, I can't think of it. My rider. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. We put blue M and M's out on the <laughs> oh, yeah, counter yeah, yeah. for you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, yeah. To be fair, I did see you first on TikTok, where I saw your comedy, and you I really? was like, "Oh my god, this guy's amazing!" Oh, I thought you saw me first. You saw me on TikTok before you met yes. me. Yes. Oh, no, and that's any common then, then. No, and yeah. then we saw each other at Leah at Leah and Maxim's mic, where I said I recognize you from TikTok. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. Damn. That that's was crazy. where, and the, yeah, because I saw your comedy. It's really social climbery of you. Yeah. <laughs> Shit drives me crazy. I'm sorry. It's so inferior. Oh, yeah. You know? No, wait. Do that, do that again. You're so good at impressions. I love this. Okay. This is an impression of a stupid person. I'm a bitch. That was pretty good, right? <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. You're so good. When I get mad, I just descend into a flurry of nonsense, I think. Can I tell you, if I'm like, if I ever hang out with Tina, I do that when I do my impression of Tina. I'm like, oh, look at me. And my advice is touch grass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Always touch grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Benny, you've been an amazing you've fucking been guest. That's a, lot, that's a lot of fun. Thank you for having this me. This comes out on Monday. Do you have anything you would like to plug and promote? My butthole. Yeah, baby! <laughs> uh, Oh yeah, wait. Uh, oh yeah, my own podcast. Yes, <laughs> I've been inter- I've been um, uh, doing interviews and shit. Trying nice. To have people on. Yep. Nice. And, and what's it called? Just my the Benny Feldman. Watch my stand up online. Benny Feldman podcast. What's it called? <laughs> it's literally called Benny yep. Feldman's podcast. Cool. No way. Yeah, yeah. I gotta listen. You gotta have yeah. on at some point. Yeah. I've seen. I've seen it. I've oh, checked oh, yeah. it out. Hell yeah. I saw the one with Michael Hirsch on. Oh, that's what's up, dude. Yeah. Oh, we got that kid. Yeah. <laughs> that old chestnut. Yeah. yeah. Shout out. Shout out, Mike Hirsch. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, yeah. little nutty <laughs> professor. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to put? Any shows going on or no? I always forget what shows are happening. Where um, can they Where can they find info about your shows? Socials, Benny website. Feldman. What are we doing? BennyFeldman.com. No, wait. Oh, BennyFeld.com. BennyFeld. BennyFeldman.com was taken. Damn. Uh, oh god damn it! I tried. I sent a bid, and they were like, "Oh yeah, we'll sell it to you for twenty thousand dollars." No. I was like, "Well, then go fuck yourself." Who owns that? I'll Elon Musk. SEO. I tried to buy <laughs> LucasArnold.com, but it was not available. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's uh you know, people actually they buy um first name, last name, like common combinations. They just buy them in bulk on the off chance that somebody becomes So they can successful. basically scalp them. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, what uh, domains are scalped pretty heavily. So yeah. somebody just is holding bennyfeldman.com waiting for a Benny Feldman to need that website. Yeah. Damn. Yep. It's fucking rude. <sighs> rude as hell. Anything you want to plug? Uh, yeah, my website is bennyfeldman.com. <laughs> yep. And yep. Uh, I'm on a show. Uh, I got a couple fun ones, like, like quirky, gimmicky ones. Okay, up. okay, okay, okay. There's one that I just got added to. It's called Must Love Dogs Comedy. It's specifically a comedy show where you're supposed to bring your dog. Okay. Which kind of was kind of. I gotta practice my woof woof that material. Like Ooh, that. <laughs> very cute. I gotta practice my barking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like okay hey, bring yeah, back hey, bouncer yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, 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 little, yeah like bone in them or whatever so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little treat little and then on the sunday cash. june 5th i got one that's uh it's called uh sports for gays and it's a they game make those show now? sports for gays hmm. they do yeah it's i only knew that sports were for bi people Sports are only for bisexuals. Yeah. But, well, that's and why the there's questions. two gay contestants and two straight contestants, and they face off against each other <laughs> Whoa. in a trivia match. Yeah. And then they combine to make one bisexual. <laughs> exactly. That's why all sports are for bisexuals exactly. in the end. Yeah. yeah. What you got, Lucas? What do I got? I have. Uh, I believe I'm having a roast battle on uh, June 8th. Then June 9th, I think I'm on Aton Levine's live uh, it, Jewish or anti-Semitic show. And... <laughs> Uh yeah, <laughs> it's a great time. And then this is big. I'm going to the Edinburgh Festival Woo! with Wyatt Figueroa and Otter Lee. We're gonna be doing. Uh, we're gonna be splitting up our time. So like 20 minutes a piece. We're gonna be doing stand up in Edinburgh. I cannot fucking wait. We're that gonna post amazing. about it more. Uh, but yeah, we have our venue and it's gonna happen, baby cakes. Damn, so, dude. Yeah. When is that? Throughout August. Whoa. Okay. That's so fun. You're gonna yeah. be able to, like. Pretty month? much the whole month, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Damn, I, I would love to do Edinburgh somewhere. Uh, Putting that into the universe. Yeah. It's yeah. Edinburgh I, is listening. Edinburgh is listening to city. That would, that'd be awesome. That would be yeah. awesome. The city yeah. of ears. Yo, you like ears, so. I yeah. do like ears. Yeah. 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 Ears are cool. I, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Benny is erect, listeners. Uh <laughs> Erect. Okay. Ear, oh my God. All right. That's it. That's, that's it. That's fun. it. Thank you very much, Benny Feldman, Woo, for coming Benny on. Benny Feldman. Thank you guys for watching and listening. We'll see you next time.